Hi everyone, there's LR Games, and today I'm watching episode 8 of Demon Slayer. Last episode, we met Michael Jackson, which I didn't expect to see this soon, but he seems to be entirely as evil as you would expect him to be. Even though it kind of baited you earlier on, with him having, you know, a family, you were thinking, you know, maybe, maybe he's not as bad. Maybe, like... It was just a misconception, or he actually cares about people, or something like that. But like immediately after he he kills a guy basically by turning him into a, a demon and then murdering his wife or something. So yeah, pretty bad stuff. He's basically using his family as a way to hide among the humans. So he's a fairly high level demon in terms of reasoning. Who knows how many people he's eaten? We don't know his human consumption level. So, with that said, let's see what happens here. Yep, he gone now. Roar! Yep, that, there goes her shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to check this time to see if I accidentally skipped something. I almost forgot that the subtitles don't work initially here. Oh, he's putting that as a... As like a gag. No, no, it's not. Um, he's probably going to have to be put down, to be honest. There's no way to turn people back. Dang, Michael Jackson. I'm never going to stop calling him that, because I'm pretty sure that's his nickname. And I'm obviously not the first one that has come up with that. It was confirmed in the comments. Not that I needed confirmation. Well, it's pretty understandable. Oh, is he going to turn back? That would be pretty... Like, is he able to turn them back at will? Because if he can, that'd be a pretty good way to delegitimize him. Wow, that looks very nice. Oh, demons. So, coincidental, peaceful demons. Ah. Uh. 
fairly reasonable uh <laughs> desire, considering. So I wonder how much power he actually has over people, like, in terms of, like, political power or influence. I mean, he has to be fairly long-lived at this point, so his connections must be pretty varied. Now he's just going to kill some random people, I see. Or turn them into demons. Well, he is the king of pop. It's a condition, okay? He's fine. It's a very uh, flashy dance move, but coming from him, it's fairly expected. Seems he has a complex about his skin. <laughs> Oh, she's a demon now. Or dead? A. Too much fan service. I wonder why she got the most horrific way to die out of all of them. Like, <laughs> she did. <laughs> she didn't do anything. Like, he was insulted when they mentioned his skin, but that lady just stood there shivering. Alright, so I'm guessing that's probably the main character's real dad. Because even in the beginning, he looked pretty adopted. Oh, the Udon guy! Oh my god! I didn't expect him to come back. And I'm super happy he did. <laughs> Making up for uh, Nezuko.
Man, I could use some of that right now. I'm pretty hungry. 6 a.m. already. Sleep, who needs it? Oh, right. She has a thing against specifically demons now. She's adorable. What are you talking about? <laughs> Seems he's, he's a bit of a siscon. <laughs> you really can't let that go. Oh, he went to the Hogwarts uh, train station. Time to learn some magic and wizardry. I wonder if that guy is like a frosted head tip, or if it's just really shiny hair. Tamayo! I know it's not. Okay, never mind. So he was a victim of hers. I mean, she was a victim of his. <laughs> These are some very comfy Tommy mats. Oh. Okay, so do that to Nezuko. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was a vampire. There's a lot of people in the world, and you get a pretty decent supply of it, I'm pretty sure. You don't have to kill a single person if you're a vampire in this day and age. You know, if they were real. So it's nothing but upsides. Besides the sun thing, but, you know, sunlight. <laughs> I don't... I'm not exposed to it usually anyway. <laughs> Nezuko. What are you doing?
Hey, I would, especially if, like, there's nothing but upsides. Well, besides, you know, the whole vanishing into dust during the sun exposure. That, that smell ability is pretty broken. <laughs> that's not just a good sense of smell, that's like an ability. So, why is his eye a Reddit upvote? Is the other one the downvote? Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> Oi. What did she say? You need Michael Jackson's earwax. Well, that should be a given if she's going to treat her. It's a pretty adorable condition. I think your input is very unnecessary. <laughs> That's adorable. Come on. <clears throat> Well, yeah, that too. I think he's won the award for the most annoying character so far. <laughs> Thank you.
If you just control them telepathically, is there really a need to throw them at all? No. No! Dang it, how do these go by so freaking fast? Let's see, I've been recording for 21 minutes. Yep, that's the whole episode. Dang it! Okay, well, that was a pretty good episode. Seems Michael Jackson has a... a bit of a complex when it comes to his skin condition. <laughs> oh, man, that, that was... Did they base this character on him? Like, I have a feeling that they might have, like... Considering how he fought, like, almost like dancing a little bit with, with the kick and, like, the skin condition thing and the entire appearance and outfit. Like, what the heck? Did... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is a great episode. UFO table. You're doing good. <laughs> I really hope to see the rest of the Fate series because just... I need to see more of their stuff. They're just really good at this. Uh, but yeah, that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.